Hello world! Today we are in Novochibaksarsk. It's the second biggest town in Chuvasha Republic, 21st region of Russian Federation. Quiet and cozy, this young town comfortably located on the right branch of the mighty Volga River. The biggest river of the world that is not flows into the ocean. Novochibaksarsk originates in 1960s mainly because of construction of one of the biggest chemical plant in Soviet Union. It was a common practice in Soviet days to create lesser towns. Satellites near the big ones. It was originally the fate of Novochibaksarsk. Satellite was an official name at the beginning. City was fastly growing and expanding, simultaneously absorbing small villages placed nearby. That assimilated villages gives names to city's blocks. For example, Yurakova, Yelnikova, Ivanova. In 1968 starts creation of one of the most significant city's facilities. Cheboksari's water-powered plant. One of the biggest in modern Russia. Cheboksari's dam is not only a source of energy, it used as a transport bridge at the same time. Novochibaksark total area is nearly 51 square kilometers. The city estimated population is 126,000 people. Let's compare it to the biggest neighbor cities. Just in 17 kilometers to the west lies the capital of Chuvasha Republic, Chiboksari. Just in 82 to the north is the capital of Mari El, Yoshkar Ol city. In 150 kilometers to the east lies the capital of Republic Tatarstan, Kazan. Novochibaksarsk has a moderate continental climate with distinct winters and summers. The average temperature of summer is plus 17.5 degrees Celsius. Winter is minus 11 degrees. The young town attracts people because of its relaxed, really peaceful rhythm. Novochibaksarsk is constantly growing. But despite of that, it's not hectic as big cities. In 2008 was raised a question about combining two cities as one – Novochibaksarsk and capital – Chibaksare. But despite social poll original results, final voting was negative. The majority of Novochibaksarsk residents was against incoming combining. The proud town keeps its integrity. People of Novochibaksarsk are proud that their home takes place on the Great Volga River. The promenade is the town's folk favorite place of peaceful walking and relaxing. The one of the unquestionable advantage of Novochibaksarsk is the abundance of trees and greens in general. The largest and best known town's park is Yelnikovska Grove. It stretches on the total area of 128 hectares and placed nearly at the town center. Sometimes townsfolk even call their home the Green Town. The big amount of trees and other plants helps town negate one of its biggest flaws. Harmful emissions from industrial area and close proximity to the chemical plant. In the town center stands religious relic, the Knyaz Vladimir's Cathedral. Another town's folk favorite place of relaxation and meetings. Another popular place is town pedestrian walking street, the Glory Alley. Novochibaksas have a strong emphasis on developing physical education and sport. There are several sport-oriented schools is functioning in the town. Novochibaksas sport complex is particularly noteworthy. Inside of it, you can find modern swimming pools, freshly reconstructed track and field athletic hall that now meet the highest standards and already became a home of all Russian sport competitions. Novochibaksask have a nice palace as well, that named the same way as local hockey team, the Falcon. The Nikolaev Central Stadium is not only a place of football games, it hosting different concerts too. Small and not well known, but young and cozy, the green town Novochibaksarsk lies on the bank of Volga river. He's like the flow of this river itself, attracts people by peace and tranquility. 
Thank you very much for your support. Best regards from Hello World team. Это спокойное, уютное место, в которое приятно вернуться после путешествия, дабы набраться сил, энергии от протекающей здесь великой реки Волга. Мои предки строили город на реке Волга. Сейчас в нем живу и я. Здесь прекрасно жить, растить семью и развиваться. Я люблю свой город. Приезжайте посмотреть на него.